Hi, today we have another Nintendo Switch. I disassembled the device already, so this is the, the board. The owner attempted um, antenna, the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth antenna replacement, and um, he succeeded with the replacement, but uh, he mentioned that he couldn't um, put in the display flex cable back into the connector. And um, I think the connector is damaged. Obviously, there's no display on the device. It seems to be charging, but there's no, no display. So um, I had a quick look already. So let me try and reposition and see if I can show you what the problem is. So these connectors are extremely, extremely fragile. Um, so if you try to push the, the flex cable in, some of these pins, or at least one of those pins, can bend or break. So let me try and show you something. So this looks, on the first glance, looks okay, but just uh, keep looking at this place here. See this? So this pin that was supposed to be right here, I think got kind of smashed inside. You see there that at the end there is... Um, let me zoom in again. I'm not sure if I can show you that. There, you see at the at the back, like there is um, something's wrong. Plus this pin is also kind of loose and not in place. This piece of plastic is also doesn't look great. There should be like kind of slot for this this pin to get in. This one doesn't have it. This pin is loose. And again, let me try and do that again. You see this? This is a, just a kind of hole. There's no the uh, metal or pin in there. So this connector is faulty. Needs replacement. So let me um, zoom out a little bit so that you can see a little bit more of the board. A little bit more light. So um, to replace this connector, uh, I've never done that actually on the switch. I did it on switch light. Switch light has a slightly smaller or shorter um, connector, as far as I remember. So this might be tricky with the positioning on the of the connector. But anyway, uh, there's obviously a lot of plastic there. Um, these two connectors, fortunately, there's no plastic on the other side of the board. So we'll heat it up from the bottom, remove this uh, connector apply new um, lead free oh sorry let it let it solder and put the new connector back again heating from the bottom so let me reposition my workbench and uh, yeah let's let's do that okay so we'll add some flux first should do it and let's start heating it up Not yet. There. So that's done. And I forgot to turn my fume extractor on, so it's now on. Let's uh, add some fresh leaded solder here and get rid of this solder there. Let me adjust the light and, and zoom a little bit. I think that's better. Okay, so
should be enough. Let's try and get rid of this now. Okay, that should be good. So let's clean the area. That looks good. So now let's apply fresh solder. Obviously, we need some plugs first. I think it will be easier for me to do it in this this way. Zoom out. Yeah, just like that. So, fresh solder. should be enough. So we'll clean it again. And yes, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, I need... I think I missed two pads here. I oh, know, they're okay. Yeah, they're all good. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, <laughs> my flux isn't great. Burns way too fast. Okay, so with that done, let's apply fresh, soda, fresh uh, flux again. Don't need much just so the connector can be held in place, more or less. Just like that. So here's our new connector. I'll try to position it as much as I can. I'll zoom in. I'll just reposition the whole thing. Goes like that. Okay, let me reposition the whole thing again.
think we should be okay. It will go in place anyway. Let me just double check here. Maybe a tiny bit to the left. Just like that. Should be okay. So let's start and heat it up again from the bottom. We'll see how it goes. not good. That's much better now. Okay. So the solder has melted. But it shifted, I think, a little bit the connector. So let's move it back into place. That should be good. Now I'll gently, very gently press and hold. Just like that. And we should be good. Okay, so that's done. I'll reposition my workbench again. We'll clean the thing off and check the pins. Okay, so this is cleaned now, and uh, this side looks perfectly fine. I mean, the pins are solid. Yeah, this side looks fine. Let's check the other side quickly. Uh, if I can only hold it in a steady position. Yeah, maybe not 100% perfect alignment, but the pins look good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, the board is done. Uh, I'll turn off my fume extractor now. Let me put the device back again and uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, so I put the motherboard back in. I've um, connected the screen, display, uh, backlight and uh, this uh, Joy-Con. Joy Let's connect the battery. Where is it? There. Let's just connect the battery and we'll see what we get. So again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that under the microscope, but let's try and power it on. It's coming on. The logo is coming on. So I think we have a screen. So the second logo. Yeah, you, it's hard to see. I mean, there. So, the screen is working perfectly fine, as you can see. Um, <laughs> again, this is not for... Um, well, you need to have a microscope, <laughs> obviously, and uh, otherwise, <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to do that. It's not that hard. Uh, again, you need to hit it from, from the back, um, and you, you need to be very careful with, with positioning. I mean, the slightest, slightest, slightest kind of move can um, make it not work, but anyway, it's doable as you can see. So, uh, again, another switch fixed. I think I have one or two more, so I'm not sure if I'll be doing videos on that. But uh, watch my channel, there will be more videos coming. Thank you very much.
and see you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.